we are going to uh, see how to populate a MySQL database with a dummy data in it. In previous tutorial, I've shown you to generate a dummy data for the single table. So in this tutorial, I like to give a real-time experience for generating dummy record for the real-time applications. So this tutorial is a framework agnostic. So whatever the framework we use for development, like our Laravel, KPHP, Code Igniter, you can follow this tutorial to generate a dummy record for your MySQL database. For this tutorial, I'm using KPHP block tutorial database. The database design will look like this. So each table has some constraint with other tables. So uh, generating uh, uh, records based on the constraint using manually is very painful. So just follow this tutorial to generate a lack of records in a minute. This tutorial requires uh, dbcdir plugin and basic knowledge of PHP, also basic knowledge of uh, connecting MySQL server using PDO. So for this, uh, first create a cdir uh, uh, database in your MySQL server. So database created. Next is copy paste this SQL queries to create a tables in it next so tables got created next is create a project in your workspace so i created the next is you need to install dbc plugin in your project folder so using composer if you are not installed composer in your system then follow this to tutorial to installed Composer in Windows as well as Mac Linux systems Once you install Composer successfully then type the Composer in terminal If it displays this information then you install Composer successfully in your system Next is copy this command to uh, and paste it in your terminal to install dbc plugin in your project folder So it will install dbc plugin so now it got installed next is open the project in, in my favorite editor i'm opening in visual studio code so uh, so if it is a dbc plugin if it is successfully installed then it should have created win vendor folder and composer.json in the composer.json it, it should have updated the um, the dependency of dbc cd plugin next is you need to create a um, index.php file in your project root folder next is you need to copy paste this scripts in your index.php file first step is you need to uh, you know include it or record uh, auto lot php from the vendor folder from the vendor this for this file so uh, this file is, will take care of uh, automatically including uh, the cedar uh, 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 php file uh, class file so what uh, so if you, uh, it it automatically takes care of uh, including dynamically including the required classes in your index.ph file the next is uh, you know um, define a count variable that will hold the number of records uh, dumb, number of dummy records we are going to insert the next is you need to um, you know connect um, uh, database mysql database give the host name db name username password to connect the next is instantiate cedar plugin and get the reference to the generator and faker the next is you need to um, you know uh, temporarily disable the foreign key checks so um, to avoid some issues for example each table have some constraint with other tables so when you are calling this index.php, it will truncate the already exist data and generate the new dummy, record, uh, uh, dummy records. So uh, because of the foreign key constraint, it will not allow you to uh, delete 
any records uh, truncate the any records from the table to avoid that issue i am disabling the foreign key checks then um, you know based on the table relations give the relation as per the relation defined already so articles tax table have the article id that is uh, um, you know the articles table id and tag id is in tax table uh, id the ne next is in article table user id is uh, related to the user tables id then give the fake text all those define just all those things uh, finally call the cd refill it will insert the, all the records finally set the foreign gate checks to one it will enable the foreign gate checks then that's it this no, finally um, call your index.php from terminal it will got inserted all the records thousand records in the, all the tables see you can you can either you can from call the index.php from terminal or from the browser also like this projects cedar index dot php it will insert the necessary records thank you